13 News Now promotes facts, not fear. When it comes to rising cases of COVID-19, Virginia is close to the bottom. Governor Ralph Northam says the Commonwealth is doing better than other states, but our numbers are still concerning. He says the restrictions put in place this week, like the limit on social gatherings, are to help slow the spread of the virus. These mitigation measures apply statewide because we need them in every region. We don't want to wait until we're seeing overwhelmed hospitals and double digit positivity rates. The governor says the good news is a vaccine is in sight. The plan is that higher risk people who work in health care can begin to get vaccinated in mid December. Well, like the governor says, our numbers are still going in the wrong direction. For three days straight, the Commonwealth reported 2,000 new cases a day. Dan Kennedy breaks down the data across the state and in Hampton Roads. When it comes to new coronavirus cases, Virginia is seeing its worst surge yet. Today we added 2,071 new cases. That's the third straight day with more than 2,000 new cases. Hospitalizations, they're on a sharp move up to almost 1,500 people hospitalized now. That's the most we've seen since late May. 22% of them are in intensive care and about one in every 10 on a ventilator right now. Positivity rates are down slightly everywhere today, including statewide. Chesapeake and Hampton are still our only two health districts with a rate higher than the statewide average. So Chesapeake seems to be our current hotspot in Hampton Roads. 8% of COVID tests are coming back positive there, and we've seen now three straight days with more than 50 new cases. The last time we saw numbers like that, back on August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, that was back in the middle of that summer surge we saw. Definitely don't want to repeat anything like that. And remember, during the summer, Portsmouth was one of the worst cities in the entire Commonwealth for community spread. We were averaging back then almost 35 new cases a day. Fast forward to today and really for the past two months, Portsmouth has done well in flattening the curve. As you can see in this chart, they're now averaging more like 10 new cases a day there. I tweeted out a chart for every city in Hampton Roads. Just search at 13 Dan Kennedy on Twitter to see how your city is faring today. Dan Kennedy, 13 News Now.